Well, the Atlanta Braves are all to a great, great start. And that was something I think we all wanted them to have since last year. They really waited until June 1st to turn it on. You don't want to have to do that if you don't have to. And their best way of getting their sixth straight division championship is by having a very good early part of the season, a good month of April and getting out to a good lead and let everybody else chase them for the rest of the year. But I I think this team's going to be very, very difficult to chase down if they do get a lead. So far, the offense has been what we thought it might be, and that is relentless, just nonstop trying to hit those home runs, trying to get those base hits and putting runs on the board and giving their pitchers plenty of breathing room. That's exactly what's happened. And again, you have to give Brian Snicker credit. Who in the world would have thought that putting Matt Olson up there at the two spot would have worked well, but it has and I have to ask the question, what other team in Major League Baseball has a better first three in the batting order than Ronald Acuna Jr., Matt Olson, and Austin Riley? I don't think anybody does. And then whatever the Braves do in four through nine, you've got those three monsters at the top that have all done well so far early on, and it's just hard for any pitcher to, to work with. I mean, when the Braves are on the road, that pitcher who's at home has to feel like, man, can I get past this first inning? And a lot of times here in the first couple of games, they have not been able to without the Braves scoring some runs. There's no question that the injury to Max Fried on the opening day is something to be concerned about, and hopefully his hamstring will heal nicely and he'll be back in a couple of weeks. But that's something that you don't want to rush because obviously that's something that can be a lingering issue. So that will be something to watch out for. Of course, Kyle Wright, who's expected to pitch on Wednesday night for AAA Gwinnett, that is something we have to watch, too, because we want for Kyle Wright to be back. They hoped that he would be back in the rotation next week as the Braves play the Reds at home. But we'll just have to see if he does OK in his rehab stint in AAA. Then, of course, Ian Anderson, who was in AAA to start the year, but had a horrible start this past Sunday. Now he has an elbow issue and his return is in question as well. But. A great start from Dylan Dodd on Tuesday night. Jared Schuster, after struggling in that first inning because he was nervous, did very well in St. Louis on that game three. So hopefully he'll be back and be more relaxed the next time around. And Bryce Elder pitched very well on Wednesday afternoon for the Braves against the Cardinals. So that, along with some great pitching depth, is what could lead this Braves. But I tell you what, that offense is what's going to be the key this year. If this keeps up, this Braves team could score five and a half to six runs per game and be very tough to beat. 